Hey, Chris. Yeah, mate. You chuck us the inox, mate. Yeah, no stress at all. Well, the sun's come out, so it's just made a liar of me, but it's winter time and it's <laughs> it is. blooming cold. It's very cold. Okay, we uh, have been having a bit of a chat about winterization of our gear. I don't think that's an expression, but I've heard people say it, winterizing your boat and winterizing your gear. And we want to have a little bit of a chat about some of the products okay. that we use. <laughs> yeah. um, well, this is one, one particular product that um, I've loved for many years, um, even before... You know, I even got a boat, was in Ox. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, we use this, we, these products a real lot. I run farms also as part of my other life, and we go through absolutely bucket loads of this stuff. So, we're going to have a bit of a chat today about three products in particular that we use. We use Inox, Lanox, and we use the Inox Grease. Now, let's go through some practical applications for these products in marine and boating. Now, one part of our boat that a lot of us forget and, and don't think about is our bearings. Now, we're very lucky with these... Uh, these boats that we, or these trailers that we've got, the Spitfire ones, what they've actually got, they've got a bearing nipple straight inside there. So we don't have to, in order to do our bearings, we don't have to muck around and get the whole wheel off and all that sort of stuff. So all we need to do, get our inox grease, load it into our grease gun, plug it on to the grease nipple. All right, so um, when you are greasing your, your axles, it's really, really important to use a marine grease. So don't, don't cheap out and just buy normal automotive grease. Marine grease is important because it has a salt inhibitor in it. So um, this Inox Marine Grease is fantastic. Um, get yourself a good quality grease gun. Now there are grease nipple points around, um, around the trailers. We're lucky with these ones because they're in here to give you access to the bearings. There's also a few on the motor. So make sure you keep your nipples greased. Okay, and another little tip that we have is the use of uh, Lanox to keep the salt air and the mist and, and, and fine salt water out of your motor. Now obviously the motor, the motor's got a good cowling, so all you're going to do to do this is just lift your cowling up. So what we're basically trying to do here, we're using the Lanox, which is a lanolin based um, basically water dispersant. We're using it just to just to give a very very gentle coating over the motor. So when you take the lid off you don't need your little jigger jogger, your little fine mist applicator. So all you're gonna do is to give it a bit of a shake and all you're gonna do is just mist over it. So all that does is it gives you good coatage, just keeps keeps the marine air out and just gives you good coating over your over your motor parts. So, um, there is there are a lot of uses for this product. We use it for absolutely everything. Um, I go through a lot. Yeah, we, you we go use, through more. Yeah, we use buckets of it. So um, general applications, pretty much one of the you know with the sport that we do fishing, we're in probably about the harshest environment, salt water. Salt water, the slow eating acid of the earth. Yeah, exactly right. And products like this help to protect your expensive gear against. Um, the damage that it can do. That's right. Has anyone, I'm sure you would have seen reels that have just been, someone's used them in salt, forgotten about them, owning a tackle shop, you would have seen it, thrown yes. it in the, in the shed and left it there for seen years. plenty of them. When you come back, there's not much you can do. So if you are using good quality gear, or not, even if you're not, just keep them coated.